So these are 70 by 70 pots, 70 mil, 70 mil, and what we're going to do is prick out. You'll get a tray of appropriately sized plants, and then you'll take plants from that tray and prick them individually out into one of the, each one of these. This is for fast growing species only. These 70 by 70s go into the tray. Make sure you get the same height of pot for each one. These are the short ones. There is a longer pot, 70 by 70, but a different breed. So get the same pots. Make sure that it's on a, a flat level surface, so all the same height. And, you, and then you just simply fill all of the pots together. Just a big pile of potting mix in the middle. And just fill out all the pots the same level. And then critically, just one dump. So lifting up like that and just dropping it once. And that'll find out whether or not there's an air pocket in there. And then we just refill and pull it all off so you can see every single pot. The reason is that they all need to be the same amount, same height, so they have the same amount of fertiliser in them. So these little balls here are fertiliser, and hopefully there'll be the same amount of fertiliser in each one of these pots, so that all the plants will grow the same height. Now, second part of the operation is we take our dibbler, these things here, modified tongs, um, which I'll provide you with. The idea is that we're making a metal containment around the roots and that means that the roots are plunged all the way into the pot and they get down to where the water is they're not just at the top of the pot so we've got our tray of plants we bare root them so we just tip them out on the ground and we take individual plants or pears there's an individual plant we just make a containment around it and then we plunge it into the middle of the pot leave it behind now critically we have to plant it at the same height as it was in the original pot. So I'm just pulling it up until it's the right height. If it's too deep, they'll just rot off at ground level. The leaves are not adapted to be in the soil. So you've got to put the leaves above the soil. There's another single plant. So make a containment. If any longer, just pull them off so you don't get J roots. Plunge them in, double round them, pull them up to the same height as they were originally, and in the middle of the pot. It's quite a quick operation and those are done at this stage. Now the next part of the operation is the watering. Now it's important that we, we want to water these from the bottom up, not the top down. We don't want to wash those delicate plants into the ground too much. So we go over to the water. We're just going to float them in the water. Float them in the water. And we'll see the water coming up through the pot. And that means the whole pot is full of water. When one of these five that we just put in there is full of water, we'll see the water come through the top of the potting mix. It's already coming through these other plants we did previously. And you can see water coming into the top of this pot, which means it will be a similar height in all the rest of them. So at that stage I pull it out, let it drain a while. It's now about three or four times as heavy as it was before, so it's full of water. And we're ready to do the final bit. Here we are back on the table. Now it's these, we've got to put the weed mats around here, so it could be quite a good idea to actually just do this. And it sinks them down a bit further so that the weed mats, these squares of paper, which you'll be provided with, will go round the pot and in the pot easily. So we're just easing it in and around the plant. This is why it's important to put the plant in the middle of the pot, because there's a hole in the middle of the weed mat. The idea is that you're stopping the light getting to the top of that potting mix so that the weed seed doesn't germinate. Weed seeds have got some special chemical in them that changes from one sort to the other and exposure to the light. The biologists study it in biology. And so what we're doing is we're trying to stop the light getting to those weed seeds. They don't think they're on the surface and so they won't germinate. The last bit of the operation is to take some shingle. And the idea of the shingle is that you simply sprinkle it about five, ten bits on each of the paper and that simply stops the paper blowing away. And I would have done, if I had enough time, I would have done those ones as well. And that's done. So then we just take that and put it straight in the nursery and 
they'll grow up really quickly. Thank you.